LasVegasDiscount.net's the best there is. Save up to 50% on your next Vegas trip. And travel, rental, shows, and tours. Find the deals you're looking for. LasVegasDiscount.net. LasVegasDiscount.net. If you're going to Vegas for deals that are the best, visit LasVegasDiscount.net. Radio.com with Andrew and Lee talking boxing, combat, sports, comedy, football, and everything kick ass. All on FightNetRadio.com. Fight Net Radio. Hola, soy Julio Sal Chavez. And lights out, baby. Lights out all day. This is Sugar Ray Leonard, and you listen to Fight Net Radio. I mean, this is ridiculous. It's a radio show. It ain't a one-hour television spectacular. Everyone in this room is now dumber for having listened to it. We gonna know. I got eyes and ears everywhere. I got friends all over the world, man. Who gives a shit with Whitey's? A piece of crap. (laughs) Oh. Oh. Oh, shit. (laughs) Shit, Andrew. You're not doing it. You're not doing this. You're not doing that. Fight Net Radio, Lee Hanish, Andrew Labache, bringing you the wonderful world of boxing. How are you this evening, Andrew? Terrible. What is this? Why are you, why are you terrible, Andrew? Oh, because we just had one of the biggest upsets in boxing history. Um, a big, big setback tonight, you know? I like to see the sport make money. Sport's not making money tonight. Hope Andy Ruiz can turn this into a, a um, career, but who who knows? Just a real big setback. Lee, you know I've been calling the fight Joshua versus Wilder. I've been calling it since fucking Joshua was 10-0 and, and you told me I was crazy, right? You remember those days? Wilder was mm-hmm. about 18-0. and 0, Fuckface was about 10-0. and 0. I wanted this fight to happen. I wanted it to take place. I cannot believe, and I shouldn't be too surprised because the chin has shown up before. Damn it. The chin has shown up before. So we can't be too fucking surprised about him losing tonight. But the way it happened. Are you serious right now? Okay, so we're going to cover the fight right now, right? That's what you want to do. No, go ahead. I mean, go through the undercard, but people aren't listening. No, we'll do a show in the morning and we'll cover all the other fights. I'm not doing a show in the morning for this. No, you're going to do a show in the morning because you're going to jump ahead. No, nope. you're all fired up. You've Chris had Algeri, You've Chris had Algeri won, you guys. You guys care about that. Chris Algeri won. <laughs> <laughs> um, Callum Smith. <laughs> Do the commercials first. Darn it the hell. Sell Go something. ahead, Lee. I'm just going to sit here. I sh- oh, fuck. No, just calm down. All right, give me literally right. 10 minutes. I'll give okay. you video. I'll give you everything you want. And then you can go on a complete fucking Fuck rampage. Guys, I can't fucking believe it. My name is Lee Honish. That is Andrew Labache. As you can tell, he is a very passionate boxing writer and boxing fan. I am a guy clearly just trying to put together a show for this week. And I realize <laughs> Andrew has had a few beers and a few cups of coffee. And dare I say, God knows I ran, what I else. Ran out of- I ran out of beers and started drinking Hard Rock Mike's Hard Rocks. Someone That's left hardcore, those. Dude. Some no, Look. it's not. Someone left them in the refrigerator. I started drinking those after the Coronas ran out. You're on Fuck. a girl drink buzz. Yeah, That's I what know. You're, this me. Is bullshit. you're in a girl drink buzz. Whatever, Go dude. Fightnetradio.com. <laughs> get this show in multiple formats. Uh, click on the video. I'm hoping that the video sticks because Andrew and I are going to watch the seventh round of this fight together from start to finish. I'm sure I'm going to get a cease and desist or a stop from the zone. I usually do, but fuck it. Uh, we do a podcast, so you guys got complete audio that way. But I'm going to try to get the video up for Andrew and I to watch this seventh round in just a couple of minutes. Uh, let me get all the business out of the way. First and foremost, scroll down. 
Go to the Fight Net Radio store. It's at the bottom of the page. Pick out your Fight Net Radio merchandise. We have lots of different styles from you to choose from. I don't want to pop up, but one of the FNR regulars, I got to get like a testimonial page with uh, one of our regulars in the shirt. He got the tank top. It looks pretty good on him, right, Andrew? Yeah, yeah looks pretty good. nice. Yes, sir. All right. Javier. Uh, also, that Javier? Javier. No, it's not Javier. It no, wasn't? Oh, my bad. It was Ocel. Javier's here with us watching us record this, and he already he already knows he's getting gold because you are off the rail. Yeah, we do need a Rui shirt. I agree, Javier. Javier's here. He's clearly drunk as well. You guys are all drinking and watching boxing, and I'm the only sober guy who's trying to make heads or tails. Like, you know what I hate the most about fight night? It's when Willie shows up after the fight's over going, see, I told you. Yeah, I know. I should have What, bro? What are you, I, what are you I was telling me? I'm the only guy who called this fight. I literally called this fight. Did I not say, Andrew, don't bet on an individual fighter? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bet on the unders yeah. because the only way this fat. Now, wait a minute. What was fight, the under, though? What was the under? The unders was not go the distance for minus 500. I didn't wow. take the over under it's And I didn't take the over under at six rounds. I would have gotten better odds. I took will not go the distance at minus 500. Okay. That's right. what I bet. That was 20%. Yeah, that sucks, and I man. Called it. That sucks. That's why I said don't bet on the fighter. You wanted to bet the farm on knockout on your boy AJ. But I don't everybody calm down. Like, let me get through this so we don't have to do a show <laughs> in the morning. Because Andrew's gonna have a girl drink drunk hangover. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm already drinking coffee. That was a lot of that was a lot yeah. of words, right? Okay. Uh, first and foremost, where are we? Um, yeah, this isn't even worth talking about. Although I did like Perry Ban. I saw him in the opening. I've been watching boxing, Andrew, since literally 12, 30 in the afternoon. And I watched the uh, DAZN card from the beginning. I was pretty impressed with uh, some of the fights that I actually got to watch. Uh, Perry Ban was kind of interesting to watch. Go back and watch it for a lot of knockouts, right? Uh, Harris versus Marino, which was the main event for the European title. Jay Harris tops Marino in the win. I just thought it was two white guys beating the shit out of each other, but it's worth watching. Uh, as Andrew called it, so we'll call it out. Chris Algieri gets his first big fight win of for, like, this is the best he's ever looked, Andrew. <laughs> Literally right. ever. <laughs> right? Let's, you know, let's give Chris Algieri literally yeah, yeah, two yeah. minutes. Might as well we retire, have been Chris. tracking him like a mental patient ever since I went out to Vegas to go see him fight Manny Pacquiao and to go meet him and to talk to his corner and to talk to the guy. And here's my final response on the topic. I'm just literally... Still shocked by this guy. Like, I thought he was a shit vitamin salesman who was just a guy who got a fight, Andrew. And he fought a guy named Tommy Coyle who was prepared to die in the ring against... I, I know it's hard to believe because his corner had to stop him. Do you think he was getting beat that hard, Andrew? I thought it was bad. I seen it at the end. Yeah, it did look like they were. They should have stopped it. Whenever you have a fighter multiple times walking around in, um, he's dazed, right? He's side to side, doesn't know where he's at. He might as well. It, you don't want that the, that kind of head trauma to keep, carry on round after round. And I think in the last two rounds, when the fin when the bell rang, he would walk back to his corner sideways. So. Yeah, he was showing signs of uh, being out on his feet. Not a bad stoppage at all. That what I what I seen. And as a matter of fact, I left before they stopped it. I was I was cooking at this time, and I didn't actually see them stop it. <laughs> but I we knew were, they. Okay, were. so in the chat room, I said you either had fallen asleep or got on baby detail. I was wrong. You were cooking. What were you cooking? Tri tip. We were doing tri tip in the backyard. Tri tip. Today. Yeah. I uh, ordered up some chapatel from down the street. <laughs> I've been behind a computer so long that I think I've actually gained weight. Uh, also, on the undercard of Joshua versus Ruiz, the first of the Coco Co main features, which was Callum Smith taking on Hassan Madamadam Nadam, and he fucked Nadam up in three rounds. I mean, he 
He fucked him up, Andrew. I mean, legit. This was yeah. Well, he's fighting a, a middleweight. Up. He's fighting a middleweight here. Nadam Nadam was uh, best days were at one sixty. So, and those were a long time ago, Lee. I, I want to say at least five years ago was his best days. So, um, I wasn't impressed with Callum Smith. Don't I hope Sewell does not f- face this guy soon? I mean, for an easy win, yeah, they can put this fight together, but. If this was something that was supposed to be building into a big match over there in the UK, um, I don't know. I didn't see it. I didn't see anything there from Smith that that said he would beat uh, um, Saul Alvarez. So I hope Saul stays at the middleweight division, takes on uh, maybe Triple G or some Billy Joe, something like that, before before uh, taking on this guy. Just wasn't impressed. Okie dokie. Uh, <sighs> also, this happened on Fox, and Andrew and I have. Oh wow, watched. that did. I know I didn't watch that yet. What Kevin happened? Kevin Alexander lost. To- oh man! <laughs> what a night! Poor Ivan Redcock. Evan. Ivan. Ivan Redcock came up. I, I'm sure that was a cack. Did I give the guy a little more credit now that he makes his first welterweight appearance Ooh, he knocked against out, Devin Kevin. Alexander? His first stoppage loss of his 15-year career. Wow. Yeah, How shocking is that that Redcock beat uh There's a lot of upsets tonight. I mean, seriously, it's gotta be an upset though, right? I these guys are both drunk men. It's an upset, bro. It's an upset. It's yeah. another upset. We have to talk about it. It had to get in. And so not, and it, we, yeah, he stopped them. Shit. Yeah, I'm with you. I'm with you. All right. Go, I think we're Willie, all caught up. Wait, and then Willie Monroe won. Go down. Oh, you missed yeah, it. Willie Monroe won. Hold on. Let's make sure I got everybody in, okay? Um, I watched the whole ESPN card. I didn't see anything impressive. All these fights literally oh, yeah. ended within three or four rounds, right? And that was um, that European one, wasn't it? Yeah, Wales. This is the European yes, yes. one that where they beat the. You know, I don't mind a little white on white crime from Wales, Andrew. I no, mean, I'm mad at European fighters right now, but go ahead. All right, no, calm down. Fucking jokes. Um, and then the. Uh, oh, my God. Yeah, Willie Monroe beat Hugo Centeno on his card, Andrew. So Willie Monroe gets the win over Hugo Centeno in the loser must and will lead the PBC match. So Willie Monroe gets to advance in the middleweight division. Yep. So congratulations to Willie Monroe Jr. Now, let's cover this DAZN card. And don't worry, we're going to cover the two most important fights of the year. Um... I didn't see the Austin Williams fight. They didn't jam it in. They didn't jam in the Diego Pacheco. They started literally, right, with the Chris Algieri fight and then worked backwards on everybody, right? So Chris Algieri won. Uh, I watched this Josh Kelly, Ray Robinson thing that I didn't really understand what the drama was, nor why I should have been interested in it. Catch any. <laughs> Yeah, yes, it's one of those workmanlike fights that because you don't know either guy, you really stop caring. And they gave it a draw. Yeah, they gave it a draw. And I still don't care. And I'll say this again. (laughs) Go check out Joshua Butasi, Butisi, Batista, whatever his name is. This is an interesting guy, Andrew. I'm kind of into Joshua Batista. He looked average. Look, he's undefeated for three years. 2016 bronze medal winner oh, in the Olympics. Yeah, right. You I'm think, number three. Yeah, you think he would have? Uh, he, he, someone big would have bought him already. You know, he would be somewhere else than where you know Marco Antonio Perban. He he seemed like he rolled out of bread for this fight. Um, yeah, I I don't know who Batisi is. He's still undefeated. He's a continental champ, I think. So he will move on and. With fuckface losing tonight, Dazzin sure in the fuck needs some stars, Lee. So uh, hopefully Joshua can, uh, Butisi can sell some uh, fucking tickets for Eddie Hearn because uh, his guy fucking laid down tonight. Boy, did he lay down. <sighs> Which takes us going. to the first controversial <laughs> face of the evening. Katie Taylor takes oh, on Purple man. Bassoon in a 10-round what-the-fuck-happened-here fight. So Matter for those of, fact, of you who have not seen it, go get to zone, go download a hot copy. This is the first fight you need to watch of the evening. There is no way on God's green earth Katie Taylor won this fight, Andrew. There is no <laughs> scoring that would give it to her. 
There is no rational mathematics. I tried to use my patented Steven Espinosa calculator to see if I could give her rounds. And the reason I have this meme up, which I created, so if you're seeing it around the web, I'm the guy who created it. The legit thing going on here is Katie Taylor. <laughs> nice, Javier. Only way she won is because she was hotter. We all agree on that. We all we all agree that she was way more attractive than Purple Bassoon. Um, Purple Bassoon was so upset after the fight, she didn't wait around. She just packed up her shit and she left. Like, literally, like, she got kicked to the curb. She, like, had a bad sleepover, right, where she did the walk of shame out of the ring. She just – so Katie didn't even think she won the fight. Eddie's smiling from ear to ear because he had already fixed the fight. We all knew he had fixed the fight because it took 15 minutes to read the scoring. I was calling it long before it happened. Andrew thought it would be a draw. I said, oh, no, contraire. Eddie's going to fix this fight. Andrew, tell us about the six to four robbery that just occurred. <clears throat> it was a robbery. Um, I didn't like the fact that Pearson, Pearson left the ring. Um, I would have told her to stay. This is the biggest moment of her life. Everyone around the world just seen her win her fight. You talk. You tell you tell Katie Taylor she fucking sucks and I want a rematch. That's exactly what I told that lady to say um, because she won that fight. There was no reason to leave with your head down. And when she I know when she got back to the locker room, when they showed her what the Internet looked like, she had to have been a little bit disappointed in herself leaving the way she did. She should not have done that. And shame on her trainers for allowing her to leave like that. She won that fight. You stand with your head high. Tell the other fighter, I want my fucking rematch. You suck and move on. Um, and and that's all there was. This was a robbery. At least she won. Katie, Katie, this girl Taylor, Katie Taylor, has no punching power. She couldn't keep the girl off. She's not moving to 140. So that little uh, unit, the super match they were trying to set up with the Muskill. What's the other girl's name? Max Skill. Muskill. The, the Max, WB. Mac. Yeah, Mac, 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 whatever. something, whatever. Fought Mac last week. Yeah, they try. They try to show them like they are going to put these two together. How? Katie Taylor couldn't even keep a girl off in her own division. I don't see her going up another division. So uh, she's got to rematch this girl, um, Pierce Pearson, and um, they'll do it again. Hey, <laughs> Katie Taylor, come out and play. <laughs> come on, Katie. Come you're still on, the great, you're still the greatest, coming. Shields. Shields is the greatest. That's why I, <laughs> I was sitting ringside. Oh, Fuck y'all, yeah. Heyman. I can sit wherever I want. Fuck Showtime. I don't think she... Hey, this shit. <laughs> hey. Who's the best? Say it again, Andrew. Now I sound like Michael Jackson. Fuck you, Javier. Yeah, he said, we're not gonna like, have any more live audience. Like if Delahoya was listening to too much Motown while being drunk, <laughs> could have been Oscar from his hotel room. <clears throat> and then Katie Taylor was interviewed, and I kept trying to think of that song from the '90s by the uh, Susie and the Banshee. Sorry, sorry, and their bombs and their guns. That, that's all I kept hearing when she kept talking. Oh, yeah, I really thought that I won the fight, and um, I did really good. I want to thank Eddie Hearn and everything he's done and the potato famine in Ireland and, uh, well, just basically everything that Eddie Hearn has ever done. I mean, he's just fantastic, Andrew. I mean, he's just he's just fantastic, Andrew. Yeah, I, he, listen, I don't know. I don't Andrew, know he's going. just fantastic. <laughs> okay, great. Hey. He what? fixed my fucking fight, Andrew. <laughs> I get it. I hear you. <sighs> no, I don't think you do, Andrew. <laughs> I think this is this? one of the better impressions that Lee has ever done. <laughs> is, oh, is that Katie Taylor? Is that, she still does sound like a dude. <laughs> well, what the fuck do you expect? <laughs> it's also my impression of Bono. <laughs> And Conor McGregor. And Conor McGregor. 
fucking asshole. <laughs> and everybody who's in the UK that listens to the show, I apologize. Oh, fuck you guys. You guys suck too. Fuck that. Fucking weak ass uh, fighter came out here and got slapped right, in his face. He got should slapped in his face. Here, or should we just get to the meat of the matter, shall we? That face you make when Eddie can't fix your fight. <laughs> Oh, look at his hands. What are you doing? Wait, let's do the joke again because the joke was so good, Andrew. (laughs) The face you make when Eddie fixes your fight and the face you make when Eddie can't fix your fight. One more time. The face you make when you can and when you can't. He's fucking fantastic, Andrew, but he can't fix a knockout. That's what he told me in the corner. When he was fixing the potato famine. Mm, mm, This next mm. song is not a rebel song. This song is Sunday Bloody Sunday, Andrew. We now have a Mexican champion who just happens to be from the United States, born in the United States, but identifies both as a fat person, but but as his as the undisputed champion, Andrew. Yeah, fuck him. He now qualify though. as a and fat. I'm, and I'm half Mexican American too, and I'm saying fuck Andy Ruiz for doing that tonight. Seriously, that was some bullshit. You don't you don't get born in America and claim another fucking country. Once you get the fuck out of America, then, and that ain't on some fucking Donald Trump shit right there. That's for every Mexican American that's ever laid their life on the line or gave their life in war for this fucking country. Piece of shit. Go ahead, Lee. I I was totally dis totally turned off by Andy Ruiz, how he acted after that fight and how he acted before that fight, standing up for a fucking national anthem that he has no part of. Fucking dude, man. Whatever. Whatever. That, that was some bullshit. From Javier Ray's, Gerardo. His, his, his the only one family. in the waiting room. Hate all you want, Andrew. He's got four belts. <laughs> oh, I don't care about that. I don't care about that. No, and that was a good win. I'm talking about the being a fake-ass uh, Mexican. You're not you're not from Mexico. Are you fucking serious? Where were you born? Do you have any pride? Do you have any pride? Does your family have any pride? Seriously. Isn't he is he I want to say he's border he's definitely border town. I have to look it up. I think he's Arizona, isn't he? No, they I want to say he's from Arizona. I thought it was Southern. It doesn't matter. Oh, didn't we look this up? Yeah, he's like South San Diego. That's what it was. It it doesn't fucking matter. He's down by the border in San Diego. Right, 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 right. right. Because we look, because, you know, I, and I looked it up again tonight. Like, why is he standing up to that national anthem? What was he born there, then moved over here, like young? And no, 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 no. He was born in America. Like, what are you doing? They fucking. Kaiser. Born at a fucking Kaiser. Jesus. He's just like everybody else from it, California. It, I hate how these guys act like there's not Mexican Americans in this fucking country. You know what I'm saying? Like there are Mexican Americans. You don't have to. Oh no, I'm I'm only Mexican. I'm only Mexican from Mexico. Get to, stop. How fucking fake. Imperial Valley. Seriously. Yeah, I got it right. He's he's L.A. He's uh California border. Seriously, uh, fake, fake, fake. He wasn't fake in the ring. I'll give him that. I give him that. He got up and he handled. He put hands on Anthony Joshua tonight. Um, he beat him like he owed money to him, Andrew. I mean, he literally be- like, and I said it in the first round. He was throwing punches from the jump. For those of you who don't know, or you somehow fell asleep, or you're, because right now at this exact moment in boxing history, boxing is exciting because basically the undisputed champion just got beat by a 30 to one underdog. Uh, so it's, it's not exciting though. It's actually sad. It's not exciting. There's nothing exciting about some dude that weighs 268 pounds, knocking out the undisputed heavyweight champ. There, there was nothing exciting about tonight. I'm not excited to see Andy Ruiz's fat ass in the ring again. I'm really not. He, he doesn't look like a guy that trains hard. I know he says he does. His hands are fast. It's just a fucking embarrassment. I, I I can't believe Anthony Joshua lost like this tonight. The game plan that Joshua was executing, hooking, staying on the inside, you're fucking, what is he, 6'7"? Your, your, your trainer's telling, you know, I thought he got mad at his trainer. People need, when they rewatch, rewatch this fight, I believe it's after the third round when, when Joshua gets dropped. His trainer's like, look, dude, jab right. And he doesn't say dude, but he's, he's like, look, jab right hand. 
What are you doing? Stay away, Jared. And Anthony Joshua looks at his trainer and goes, oh, it's that easy, huh? It's that easy? And then looks away, like looks into the crowd. I don't know if he was upset with his trainer, so he didn't want to. What? Come on, she's old, too. Oh, Clarissa. You see me on TV. You didn't see her on TV? She jumped <laughs> <Yeah>. right up. <laughs> um. Andrew, joining us from heaven. It's none other. Than Harold right. Letterman. I mean, come on. Ah, how you doing, Andrew? Going into the seventh good. round, Andrew, I had it scored 114-112. All for Anthony Joshua. I don't know what fight you're watching, but Anthony Joshua is handling himself going into the seventh round. I don't know how this thing's going to turn out, Andrew, but it's very exciting. Yeah. So he looks like That's he has no Andrew. chin. He looks like he has no fucking chin. He has no stamina. Um, he, he, Lee, do, am I wrong here? That when he, when Joshua gets knocked down, why is he breathing so hard? It, it's like mentally the guy gets fucked because he did it in the Klitschko fight. But see, when he did it to Klitschko, you're like, dude, it's it's Klitschko, all right? So you got to give the kid. Remember, he's still a kid at this point. You got to give him some slack there. But what on this night? What what is going on? We're over here making hella fun of the of the chubby guy. Everybody's making fun of him all week, myself included. Why does he look like the more tuned athlete during the fight? Anthony, seriously, what the fuck happened there? You can't even stay away with the jab? You can't use your height? I mean, I'm just at a loss of words. I do not, do not know what happened. And, you know, I, I heard them talk about the amateur background. I could have – isn't Joshua a gold medalist? <laughs> Didn't he win the Olympics? So so how can you bring in yes. amateur background? This was a fucking joke. The, the fact that he's bending over while the dude's throwing hooks, like who is teaching? I don't, I can't say it's his trainer though, because his trainer, from what I heard, was giving him great advice. What are you doing? Stand back, jab right hand. You're six, seven. And here's the controversial finish. Uh, I don't want to put words into the mouth of Eddie Hearn since they will be fighting again in 90 days, per the words of Eddie Hearn, who made it very clear they will be fighting before the end of the year. Um, was it a good stoppage? Yeah, You know what? Yes and no. You know, Lee, he never picked his hands up, but the guy did say, yeah, I want to fight. But he never picked his hands up. He didn't. I didn't hear the ref say, give me two steps forward. I didn't hear, you know, the ref said, do you want to fight? And he kind of played off the body language that wasn't really good from Joshua at this point. Look, Joshua's got both hands on the ropes. He says, yeah, but he just doesn't look like he's fight ready. So, I, dude, I can't blame the ref. And, Lee, seriously, I, di I didn't have Joshua winning at this point. I knew he was going to lose this fight. Lee, he wasn't he wasn't fighting. Lee, he didn't even use a jab. Like, what was he doing tonight? I swear to God, it was like he took all right, his All right, all right, all right. Let's cover a couple of technical things that this fuck no did, actually, during the fight that I was a little shocked by. Let me rewind it to some of the earlier rounds. The first thing that I found rather shocking from a technical aspect, Andrew, if I may, why is he adjusting his height to the that's smaller guy that's... instead of fighting tall? I right? Know. I think I that's know. the most notable thing. Look at him coming down to Ruiz. Why would you do that when you have the height? Look at him come down. Why are you bending your knees so much? Stand tall. Make him reach. And jab. Expose him. And jab if this guy that... is a counter puncher, stand up tall. Work behind the jab and launch right hands from that far away. He should be able to be that far away. Plus, he's I working guess. backwards all night. Andrew, this show is exposing that I actually pay attention to boxing, and I'm not enjoying it. So would you please take over? No, I won't, which is what you're supposed to do. But you're absolutely right in what you're saying. Um, I, I don't know. Look I at, don't know what, the, I, listen, I don't know. Did they, did they not – was Joshua supposed to be here for two weeks? Is it the one week of only coming to Madison Square Garden that affected him tonight? I don't know. That's what this this rematch, this immediate rematch is going to prove because they did say the, the rematch is in the U.K. It's on the contract. So Andy Ruiz yeah. is now going to have to go to the U.K. to fight Joshua. 
Joshua will be in his own zone, his own atmosphere, whatever. He, he'll be uh, in his comfort zone. There you go. We'll see. But you know what? Remember when I told you guys they, they needed to make the money? They're never going to see this money again? The money's gone now. And, and, dude, the, the contracts are gone. Anthony Joshua is not the golden boy anymore. I think everyone knows that. Povetkin hurt him. Klitschko hurt him. And Ruiz knocked him out. I I'm sorry. You're doing worse than Lennox Lewis was doing. He cannot Lennox fight Deontay Wilder. He cannot fight Tyson Fury. We said this during the chat room, but I will say it right now. The number one heavyweight in the world, in my opinion, right now is Tyson Fury. Tyson Fury. It's Tyson Fury. If hands I was down, ranking right? the fighters right now. This is legit how you have to rank the fighters right now. It's Tyson Fury, Deontay Wilder. Um, no. I guess I have to say no. Andy Ruiz. I go, Andy, I, go, I go Fury Ruiz. I'm sorry. Dude, Deontay Wilder does not get the second place because of two punches. He doesn't. He lost that fight. All right? I don't care what I'll you're tell fucking. You why. I'll tell you why. Because we're at... guessing what these guys would do. No, Andy, you know, follow you me know on what this. I hate, though? You know what I hate? We will hold a fucking scorecard to De La Hoya. We'll hold a scorecard to Canelo Alvarez. Why the fuck are we not holding a scorecard to Deontay Wilder? That man that had him up by eight rounds. Eight rounds, Lee, you know is a fix. That is a fixed card. Hold it to him. Accountable for that. We do it to the Mexicans. De La Hoya, you brought up De La Hoya's strum again. Hey, hey. Thank you. There you go, Oscar. What do you think of my boy, Ruiz? That's not your boy. You should have signed him boy. if that's your boy. I don't have him under contract. I'm pretty sure I signed him, dude. No, Top Rank had him, and then Al Heyman had him. I feel, I feel, you know what? I feel like I have him under contract. He's a Mexican, I right? I think you're drunk, Oscar. I mean, I've been in Vegas now for like five weeks doing cocaine with a bunch of hookers. Uh, yeah, yeah. So I'm a little fuzzy. Didn't I call Andy Ruiz like a Greek goddess? Oh, I'm pretty man. sure I called him a Greek goddess. Fucking A. Right? <laughs> this was like the high school. This was like the high school. Thank you, bully. Javier. That's a good callback on a joke. I'm glad Javier got it. And you didn't did get, get it. What Javier did he get? Got I didn't all get what he say. What did he say? Bro, I what love this say? show for the record. <laughs> what did he say? I just did all the callbacks on all the Oscars. Oscar's still in Vegas for week number five, right? Joke number one. Joke number two, he believes that he has Ruiz under contract just because he's Mexican. That's funny. That Joke sense. number three, he's now calling Andy Ruiz a Greek goddess, which is a callback hey, to his hey, comment hey. about Anthony Joshua. Those are all solid jokes. And if I have to explain the jokes in this show, Andrew, they're no, officially I no know longer in front of me. Said, We're going to become said, the what, boxing show. I wanted to see what Javier We're said. Beca- I That's can't what he said. I love the show saying. for the record. Oh, okay. Yeah, you can. You just click on the uh, comment on the you question You always button say that and it doesn't fucking button. come up. You always say that. <sighs> I wish I, I'm going to send you a picture right now of it. Never, you know what? You, you do those deep breath on me. There's so no way this sick. video is going to fly. I really Dude. hope the video flies of us talking over these knockouts. It's it's incredible. I mean, bro. good for Ruiz. I mean, okay, does this mean that I can now qualify as a fat person? Because fat yeah, is Yeah, no, cool. I'm serious. Yeah, fat is hella cool. Why train? Why train? You should just go in the heaviest you've ever been in the biggest moment of your life and fucking wing it, dude. Nah, but here's the other thing, it. Andrew, because we Literally, live in a politically, I'm going to explain this for the rest it, of the world. Man. He did it. Hold on. I'm going to explain this for all of our international fans. And as you know, Andrew, we are number one in Egypt. So yes. a big <laughs> shout out to all our Egyptian fans. Um, Andrew, since we live in the United States, I'm going to get really, really fat, but I'm going to qualify myself as a middleweight. Hey, I like the joke. Whoever I think put that's th- Andy Ruiz has bigger titties than the two girls fighting tonight. That was pretty funny. That was a good one. That was a great joke. Yeah. Shout out to whoever and, that was. That and might then have been... he won. Look at those tits, boy. 
Could have been Kelly, could have been Javier, could have been <laughs> since Javier's here, he could have credit for it, but it could piss off everybody else. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, that's hilarious. Why are you texting me? All right, let me see. Uh okay. Shares your webcam. What is up with your control panel? Told you. You should have a panel for the question bar. Yeah, you just need to right click on it and tell it to show you questions, but neither here nor. Uh, Javier Gerardo, Joshua thought it was going questions. to be an easy Boom. night, so he didn't train hard. I don't know if I can give I don't know if I can give Joshua credit for the all. I was looking past him and looking at bigger paydays. Oh you no, no, if fuck he's that. fighting with nope. amateurs and he was training correctly for this fight, um, he had his business handled in the third. He didn't get the job done again. Yep. Again, he, he, he throws his, his game plan out. out the window. Lee, why in the third round does he start exchanging? Jab right hand, just jab right hand, left hook. Matter of fact, Kelly, shout out to Kelly. Your combo puts him down. Your combo puts him down. Why don't you throw it again? Why all of a sudden now you want to do uppercuts, left hooks, right hands? I'm going for it all, boss. So, are you serious? You're going to give the puncher a chance. I'm pink. Down you go, dumbass. Uh, jab right hand you're six seven the dude is fucking they say six two and it didn't look like it but whatever that could be his belly uh maybe he is six two it, uh, he ruined it he ruined the whole heavyweight thing right now 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 you got tyson fury he's the lineal champ who took three years off got head problems we don't know who Tyson Fury is. We hope Tyson Fury's back. We hope he can stay uh, uh, it within, you know, the right mind. But who knows? He could fucking turn off tomorrow and be back in a one-year disaster. Um, you got Deontay. Sorry, Wilder fans. He didn't win. He doesn't have that win. You're going to hold Canelo to the scorecard. I'm going to hold Deontay to his piece of shit scorecard of eight fucking rounds that you guys can't give me. So Deontay's already have a loss. Joshua already has a loss. Why, uh, Fury's the best, but I hope, you know, I hope Fury just stays on his path. Do what he's doing. So we Listen. have a question from Javier on following this question, Andrew. Okay. So you're saying Joseph Parker is a better fighter than Anthony Joshua because he went the distance with Ruiz? We won't know that until, until the rematch with Ruiz. Listen, tonight this kid came to America – he fought here at Madison Square Garden. He looked awful very early. He looked tired. He looked like he was he just I don't I don't know what what it was. He might be overrated. You know, maybe we gave him way too much. But you guys, you can't say Joseph Parker, Pavetkin, Dillian White, Chisora, uh, and Klitschko is a resume that doesn't make you the best dude in the division. That is a resume that does it, especially when the, the, the Klitschko was uh, knocked out and it got heard around the world. Joshua was the real deal going into this fight. I don't know what happened tonight. The chin has been checked before. So, you know, Lee, credit to you on, on giving the 20% on saying taking both guys. Because, you know what? The chin has been checked before. These are two fucking heavyweights. Who knows? Even Lennox Lewis. Let me tell you something, guys. Lennox Lewis has been knocked out twice. People still call him one of the greatest heavyweights of all time. So this isn't the end for Joshua. But you want to know something Lennox Lewis never did? He never made motherfucking $120 million in four fights or $140 million, whatever they're going to do. D does anybody know Deontay Wilder right now could have made $120 million for fighting Brazil? I'll tell you – Lee. Oh, he made Lee, $8 million. Lee, he made nothing. Lee you, Lee, you remember when I told you, fuck letting a fight marinate. I want to be the man right now. Because when I'm the man right now, you're going to get paid like the man. So what are we waiting for? Deontay Wilder should have already knocked out Anthony Joshua. Does everyone know that? Anthony Joshua would have been knocked out by Deontay Wilder tonight. Easy. He, the kid showed no chin. To be able to take Wilder's punch, I don't. It might have oh, looked like the, Brazel. The two most upset people. I'll tell you the three. The two most upset people in boxing right now. Number one is Eddie Hearn. We heard it after the fight, right? Yeah, yeah. I uh, fought sloppy in there. I uh, fought sloppy in there. 
He'll be rematching in like 12 minutes. Don't you worry. I'll put the whip to that boy or he'll be back in the field picking cotton, just like my dad said. Uh, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, He's to just totally, I'm going to put him back to work, right? Yes. I'm not going to let anybody off the hook, by the way. I don't know how we're still letting Eddie Hearn's dad have a pass for racist comments. Like, I, I don't know. I'm not going to let that go, Andrew. It's going to be a long time until I, I let I that go. I hear you. I hear you. Um, the second person who is upset right now in Tuscaloosa, Alabama, Mississippi, or whatever backwoods, shithole, bumfuck Egypt place he lives is Deontay Wilder, who's sitting in his big, giant, Ikea-furnished house on the lake, <laughs> staring at the screen and looking at his fucking calculator going, Where, what the Where'd fuck? Where'd the money go? Exactly. Lady. And by the, by the way, if anybody knows Deontay personally, please pass along this message. Yeah, what the fuck, bro? You should have been a man, stepped up. Your big right hand would have done all kinds of damage to this dude. <laughs> I, I, I've, I've told all you, you guys, had to do was hit him I, with I, one punch. I, I told you before, this this so-called boxing whisperer, this so-called advisor, the greatest advisor that ever stepped into to the boxing world, he's missed some really big opportunities. Not only was Manny Pacquiao a used-up fighter before he finally let Floyd get in the ring with them, you remember that name, Sergio Martinez? And how he never let Freud fight him. Yep. Look at what look at what Sergio looked like after the the Chavez fight. Could you anyone imagine if Floyd would have went to middleweight like Cotto did and fought Martinez? Martinez blows his knee out what in round one. There, there has been some yep. big misses by this guy, and 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 this is another one. Matter of fact, it's two fights because the Dominic Brizzle should have been a twenty million dollar payday for Deontay, and we all know it wasn't. And then this is what he would have had next. It's uh, it's mind blowing. Um, you know, Deontay's still in the running to be the man. So hopefully he can still, you know, get a few wins, become the man. So all this gets put to rest. But if he doesn't, and Tyson Fury ends up, or 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 because look, it's already on the new the the internet, or I think even in our own chat room. Right. Is it it's possible Andy chat. Ruiz beats Deontay Wilder? I don't know. All right, Lee, all right. Let's, listen, Lee, let's listen. end this show on all the speculation and everything that's lined up. All right. So we know that Anthony Joshua is going to do this fight again. That's a lock. I think 100% as sure as shit before the end of this year, this fight's going to happen course, again. Yes, and Eddie yes. Hearn's going to squeeze more money out of it. Right. <clears throat> Number two, we know that Tyson Fury is going to fight uh, whatever. Um, Schwartz, he's gonna fight, Schwartz, right? Schwartz, so, yes. Yeah, right. And we know that Tyson Fury, after that fight, per reports, which seem to be legit, Tyson Fury is set to fight Deontay Wilder before I don't the like end of that, the year. I don't like that. No, I don't like that report yet because top rank or nor Tyson Fury has made a statement. I'm not going off of Deontay Wilder. I'm sorry, especially. When Deontay got so much of a backlash for the Ortiz announcement, all of a sudden now you you guys are working two contracts out at the same time and, and working a contract out with Fury, who's already in a fight and in a way better position than you. Like, seriously, you guys, Tyson Fury has way more options than Deontay Wilder. So there's no reason Tyson Fury needed to sit down before this fucking fiasco was over and, and work a deal out with Wilder. There's absolutely none. So I, I threw up a red flag. I know I'm the one who shared it on our site. But then I threw up a red flag yes, when I are. noticed when I noticed Top Rank and Tyson Fury haven't said shit about this fight yet. Now, with this happening tonight, Tell me this. with this happening yes. tonight, you could see where Tyson Fury now might him and Bob might go, all right, Wilder seems like the only option now because Joshua. Might have to fight Ruiz twice, you guys. He might have to fight Ruiz out in the UK. If he wins out there, you know damn well they might do this a third time, right? Especially if it's another six-round fight where no one gets hurt. No one, there's no actually, you know, no reason not to do a third one and it makes great money. There might be a third fight here. Um, sad, sad play. This is this is absolutely nobody wanted to see, but this might happen. And then Tyson Fury and Deontay Wilder, 
that might have to do their fight over again. And that that's going to be our big show because Joshua fucking blew it, man. He fucking blew. I don't care what the kid thinks smiling and doing all that tonight. He's going to feel it tomorrow morning. He blew the biggest opportunity of his life. Yes. I know he makes good money. He said he made like 30 million a night. He's worth 60 million. Yeah, you guys, you guys got to remember Joshua has already made it to the top of the mountain. This is not Deontay Wilder. This is not a guy who was climbing still. He was there. He fell off tonight, but he was still there. He still made 30 plus million dollars for this loss tonight. So he he's going to have to go back home, fight this guy twice. Uh, Tyson Fury possibly does sign that contract today. Lee, I can't guarantee that that contract was signed yesterday, though. I really can't because it'd be stupid for Fury to do it. Lee, the biggest fight well, in boxing. Well, there's one person, Andrew, there is one person to ask, and he's joining us by phone from Las Vegas. Hello, Andrew. What up, Why are you throwing up a red flag? You know how I like to float shit out there? Yeah, I just don't think you guys well, you would allow Deontay. You, I just don't think Tyson Fury would have allowed Deontay Wilder to make that announcement. Really? I don't know. I don't know. He still hasn't said anything tonight. As a matter of fact, I'll check right now. I'm going to go to Tyson Fury. Go ahead, Bob. Yeah, no problem. So, uh, for those of you who don't know, I'm the smartest man in boxing by name, the Bob Father. And uh, as you can tell from tonight, I picked the right heavyweight to uh, back up. Oh, That's sure, fine. I had a chance at Anthony Joshua. I look at all those Olympic kids. I passed on him. He's got a glass jaw. Fucking brilliant like that, Andrew. I can tell. You don't have to fix as many fights if you don't have a guy with a glass jaw. That's why I like Tyson Fury. The fucking gypsy, Andrew. You got to back a gypsy. They got like that black magic shit. That makes him a winner in my book, Andrew. He's promised to give me 10 more years of life just by uh, being his promoter. 58 minutes ago, Tyson Fury said, we have our back and forth, but Anthony Joshua changed his stars through life. Heavyweight boxing, these things happen. Rest up, recover, regroup, and come again. So the question from Javier Gerardo, do you think Tyson Fury is the A-side no matter what, Andrew? Do I think Tyson Fury is the A-side of what, Lee? I don't know. It's Javier's question. Uh, ask it again. Ask it again. Do you think Tyson Fury is the A-side no matter what? Is he the man to beat, Andrew? Is it Tyson Fury all day? No, Are you going to no, make um, Bob's? Tyson Fury versus Deontay Wilder. If they want, If they wanted to do that fight yesterday, it would have to be 50-50. Um, today... Yeah, it's still fit. No, no, he's not the A side. I'm sorry. That that fights a that fights uh they both made that fight classic. They both made it legendary. It's Tyson's fault. I told the son of a bitch stop bending over at the end of the eleventh round. He bent over in the twelfth and got decked. That's his fault. You can't do the same thing over and over in every round. So it's his fault that it's a 50-50 fight now at financially. Financially. Um Tyson Fury's better. Skill wise, but financially, as far as marketing, that particular fight, no, it's 50 50. Um, Joshua's out of the picture, he's done, he's he's out. Him and Rui's got some some fighting to do here. It's a sad day in boxing. This is a sad fucking day. We, you guys are going to be watching this. <clears throat> Hopefully, Tyson Fury and Wilder get signed now, and we can have at least one big heavyweight fight <laughs> next year. How, how's that sound, you guys? Next year. Go to fightnetradio.com, click on all the buttons, pick away, try to see if there's video for this. We'll see if it gets blackballed or not. I'm going to try to put it out because I got brains like that. Also, uh, we've got a fight coming up next, two weeks away in Las Vegas. Go to lasvegasdiscount.net, Andrew. You know why? Because in two weeks, we've got another heavyweight showdown coming up That's gonna we're all going to have to keep a very close eye on. Are we not? Uh, yeah, I know. That would be- I know. Hey, what if Schwartz wins, right? Lynch? Fuck. Hey, Schwartz knocks out Schwartz Fury. <laughs> the white guy, okay? Just say the white guy. I don't. I can't even keep up with it. He's anybody. undefeated, man. 24 and 0. Don't cut him short. We cut fucking Ruiz short, and look what happened to us today. I'm going to qualify as a fat guy, but as a middleweight, Andrew. That's my plan. 
Um, yeah, you know the kids are like the kids are like. Why do I have to run three miles every day, Dad? You don't have to. I could be why? heavyweight champion. Why? Why can't I eat fucking tamales every day and just throw blows? You can't. <laughs> I, I want to rip off an Eddie Murphy joke bad so bad right here that I can taste it. Didn't he do the can't smoke crack and work at McDonald's? I could be mayor. Yeah. Um, in this case, can't be fat and be heavyweight champion of the world. Yes, I can. Yeah, you can. Undisputed. Yeah. Motherfucking butterbean one tonight. <laughs> I can't believe. Lee, jab right hand. Jab right hand. You're six, seven. All right. And then the smiling. The smile, you know, it's like a football player that drops the ball and runs back to the huddle with a fucking smile on his face when he dropped it on a third down. You want to slap that dude? Like, what are we smiling for? Ah, yeah, I'm acting like he took my money. It's just sad. Just sad. I well, I, he wouldn't I, have taken your money if you bet the way I told you to bet, Andrew. Go to LasVegasDiscount.net. Stay at the Tropicana for 132 bucks. You can walk across the street and go see the next heavyweight on the night of June 15th. Available at the MGM. Tickets available at the MGM box office. Also, when you go, you're going to need a, a thermal cup, right? So you can uh, – so go to getfreecup.com and get yourself a thermal mug for the fight. They come in four different styles. They are Ibex. Can't beat it. They're like uh, Yeti knockoffs. Don't get like Andrews that just says, yet. Can't believe next. you have one that says, just says – Mine says, Next. N E X T. Oh the hell is did, that? I want to know where Christina got that. That's just awesome. <laughs> I actually have Yetis, so I know how dumbly expensive they are. That's why I, I push the Ibex stuff. It's great. They're free. Go to all you got to do is type in get free cup, get free cup, and get yourself a free cup. What a deal. Also, go to Las Vegas. Deontay Wilder. Oh, sorry. I yeah, got go I got an update. Deontay Wilder, 26 minutes ago, he wasn't a true champion. His whole career was consisted of lies, contradictions, and oh, gifts. Of course. Of Facts. Course. And now we know who's running from who. Oh, fuck. Oh, oh my God. Fuck. What a douchebag. You should have been fucking rich. Fuck you, bro. You should have been, look, you should have been really, fucking rich tonight. He wasn't running from you, bro. They put money on the table. They put, I, oh, my God. It, but there's a million people that are going to fucking share this. You know that, right? You know, are, facts. You know what? Hell, Joshua, hell, hey, facts. <laughs> Joshua didn't handle his scandal, so he gets what he gets. That's all there is to it. Uh, all right, Andrew. We're going to end the show right here on a on a very interesting note, all right? Oh, my God. In the yeah. annals of boxing history, we have had many upsets. Tyson Fury beating Buster Douglas. Um, I don't know. Uh, Muhammad Ali, right? Um, beating George Foreman, for God's sakes, would be... He had to be a dog going into that fight, right? Of course. I don't even yes. remember what. The, yes, his yeah, own right. his own team thought he was gonna die. <laughs> right. He he might kill you. <laughs> okay. In boxing history and in heavyweight history, Andrew. And Lee, Lee. How do you, you rate got, this as a shocking upset? A big one. This is big. This is this is right up there with Lennox Lewis versus Hasim Rockman. Remember, Lennox is coming off doing a movie in South Africa. Everyone at HBO is like, he wasn't really even training. Gets knocked out smiling on the ropes. One punch knockout. Um, Lennox Lewis versus Oliver McCall. Okay. Um, Oliver McCall, one punch knockout. Made Lennox look really human in both of those fights. Well, Lennox comes back and destroys both men. Really not Oliver McCall. McCall has a nervous breakdown in the fight. Um, starts crying. Um, they kind of stop it. Lennox didn't destroy McCall, but he got the defeat. He got the TKO win. Um, but Rockman, he put his fucking mouthpiece, I believe, through his uh, lip. He hit him so hard. He, he busted it. He popped his lip. Um, it, it's it's up there, Lee. This was bad. This was terrible. Lee, this is the face of the heavyweight division. You, you've seen the commercials in between rounds. You've seen the commercials on the ring. You see what's on his shorts. This guy was supposed to be the real deal. 
Um, he let down every a lot of people tonight. That's why I don't like his stupid ass smile on his face. Now I know he's gonna try to bring this back in a few months and get everything back on, but the damage is done. The money's not gonna be as big. The interest isn't as big. You guys do understand that it Wilder was gonna make money off of the UK fans that follow Anthony Joshua, and a lot of that disappeared tonight. Um, you know, there's a lot of casuals in the boxing world. Anthony Joshua was hot because he was undefeated. Like uh, in Oscar's words, he looks like a goddess. And he had to win over one of the biggest uh, um, fighters in the, in the European circuit of all time. Right. Klitschko. And so so th this is where Wilder was supposed to make his money. It's not going to be on Andy Ruiz. Andy Ruiz is not going to make fucking thirty nine million dollars in his next fight. Lee, am I lying? Stop me when I lie. He, he's oh, make twelve that. million for his. That's remake. great. That's great, but he's not going to make thirty nine or thirty eight million. What Anthony made tonight? He's not no, Mike he's Tyson. Not, he's not. He doesn't Mike even Tyson. know what fucking country he's from. I think the kid's been hit in the head too many times already. Seriously, his grandpa wow. and his father should be a little bit mad at him right now. Fuck, did we come over here for? What do we make your life better for? So you could go and say you're from some country that we don't even want to be in. Because let me tell you, Andy. If you want, if they wanted you to be Mexican, you'd be in fucking Mexico. You're right at the border, as Maliana says. There's a reason why we come here. Don't disrespect what our ancestors did, right? Fly man! FightNetRadio.com with Andrew and Lee talking boxing, combat, sports, comedy, football, and everything kick ass. All on FightNetRadio.com. Fight Net!